This is Internet of Things, it's smart home, it's all of that together, and it's really a new type of network. Uh, what's the vision for it? What's it going to allow? And how long is it going to take to build out? Good to see you, John. Uh, yeah, Sidewalk is all about the next billion things that are going to get on the network. And, uh, you know, Wi-Fi is constrained and mostly to your home. It just doesn't have the range to go into your backyard, into the neighborhood. And cellular may be the future, but it's very expensive today. So Sidewalk kind of splits the difference between those two and allows us to put uh, you know, millions and billions of things on the edge of the network, but do it in a secure way that also allows us to update software on those so that you can ensure they'll have the latest software, they'll be secure, they'll be up to date without having to take your phone one at a time around to a billion different things, which is just unscalable. And this isn't about streaming HD video over Sidewalk, right? It's about a, a perhaps persistent but lower bandwidth a connection that's shared between devices. I mean, m maybe my neighbor's device is, is set apart and, and I'm using part of that bandwidth, but anonymously, it, it's secure. Is that right? Exactly. It's very uh, long range, up to a half a mile in some cases, but very low bandwidth. And so uh, customers that opt into the network, they uh, have the opportunity to share a small amount of their home bandwidth to be basically the backhaul of the network. And then it allows us to put things very low cost on the edge of the network to get software updates, to uh, be able to give telemetry about uh, what's going on around them. You know, to start, we, we've been experimenting with this for years with uh, rings path lighting. You know, it's just too hard to get Wi-Fi out to you know, the extent of your yard. You don't want to run a bunch of wires. And now you can synchronize your lights. And another one we experimented with, which is my favorite, a little old school, but it's a sensor you can put in your mailbox. And it just tells you when your mailbox is open. It's great for me. It knows when the mail comes, but also makes your neighborhood safer because of identity theft. If somebody's going to go and try to uh, pillage your mail, it gives you an opportunity to know that's happening as well. Now, Apple's trying to do a version of this with iOS devices. It's got a bunch of devices that have the same operating system, uh, similar software. Uh, they announced AirTags, which works with that. Why is this better than that? Yeah, I, I don't know everything that Apple's planning, certainly, but as what I've seen them announce is really a network that's focused on finding things. And that's not really the long-term goal of what Sidewalk is. It can do that, but it's much more than that. It actually has a network that has bandwidth associated with it. It's very long distance, uh, has good coverage, and it allows people to invent whole new types of devices that will sit on this network that are much lower cost than customers have had and allow it to be uh, secure and get, get data updates. And, and when you think about the world, our world five years, 10 years in the future, there literally are gonna be billions of connected things. And we, we need to make sure that they are safe and secure. Dave, good morning. It's Deirdre. You know, what you've been talking about, ease and coverage, accessibility, that's all good, but it usually costs the user in terms of data, potentially privacy, in ways that we can't really see at the beginning. Um, the privacy landscape right now, as you know, is changing to give users more control. And when you introduced Sidewalk, Amazon said that it would be enabled by default. Why do it that way, not give customers the chance to opt in or opt out from the very beginning? Well, there's sort of two levels of opt-in. We, we turn the network on for all customers and allow them to opt out. That is correct. But when we, uh, we have a separate opt-in, which is a customer has to choose actively for location. So I would separate those two to share location. So I would share those two things separately. But on top of that, I think the most important thing about this is to get great coverage. And what one of the things we're talking about here today is that in the top 25 metro areas, we, uh, with, and we gave notice to customers, we've lit up and we have great coverage in those first 25 metro areas. And uh, it's, it, it's great to see. And we think the benefit for customers will, will show a lot on based on these new devices that we announced today, things like Tile and Careband.